Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Bloodborne. Today we're going to be continuing on with our new Bloodwig's Holy Blade and see what adventure lies in store. This person doesn't look like they're dead, but maybe they are. <laughs> Interesting. And then we have our new friend here, and which we joined the League, whatever that is, seems to be some kind of PvP or co-op thing. Um, we're not really going to use, so that's that. Let's, um... Leave this down here in case I need an escape. We can always use it to go back up. So last time I believe I came from downward. So let's go upward. See what lies in store. And perhaps we get to try out the new sword. Oh yeah, no, we did have to go downward because there was one of those people with the across the bridge, that's right. Thing down here. Yeah, I came from down there, I believe, and I think I ran this way, and there was this person, and so I ran the other way and found the shortcut, and all was wonderful. Hey, that's pretty good damage. Ooh, that was absolutely solid damage. Four shot at that thing. And we got a bunch of blood vials for it. That's pretty sweet. Didn't have to deal with any extra bad snake 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 <laughs> sorry snake shenanigans. Throwing those words together there. Naked again, naked again. Something like that. Perhaps, perhaps I want to have the torch out here just so I can kind of see. And you know what? Actually, get the hand lantern. Thing is always extra to extra. Ah, more snake foes. strong in the one-handed department. Two-handed strike seems pretty good. Good range on it. That stagger is what's really nice though. And the triple attack is quite strong. Get the torch back out so I can I can see somewhat in here. Not always not always the easiest. I don't really know what I'm looking for. It's mostly uh, a way forward. I can hear lots of things. There's over here, so let's ascend. Find out what's up here. Oh, I think we've... Yeah, we were up here before. So yeah, this is where we came down. We followed the one guy. We came over here, took these stairs downward. Okay, so we just came from the other side of that. Hmm. Maybe we do have to try going, going downward. Is this place called just kind of like loop together? Is that maybe what's going on, or am I just forgetting? Oh, I had the yeah, there's an item down here. Okay, that could be an ambush still. I need cold blood. Okay. Get back my uh, two-handed mode here. Are you? Are you? Got a mass of snakes. I don't like snakes at all. Well, in real life, snakes aren't so bad, I guess. Not a huge fan, but can't say I strongly dislike them. But in video games, whoa! In video games, snakes usually bad news. This game, no exception. Bloodstone shards. Happy to see those, though. Maybe all kinds of items that I have to upgrade in the future. I hear, like, a groaning that is not one of these snake creatures. Terrifying. Not sure what to make of it, honestly. Bad man's knowledge. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, there's like one of those guys up there. Kinda like aims high on his uh, first attack, it seems. Another bloodstone shard, more snake foes in the distance. Let's deal with uh, 
This item right here, though, first. Always a, a big fan of treasure. Yeah, good damage on that. Good range, too. I think the range is the best part. The damage is just a bonus. Similar to what feels like the, um, the whip range. Ooh, holy charge one just wipes him out. That's nasty. Wow. Thankfully, these enemies are very slow. Very farmable if you're looking for some easy bloodstone shards. You have this weapon. Or when a similar weapon with long range. Oh, this guy's gonna have a snake pop out of his head. Pretty all right. More blood vials. Back to full capacity. More snake foes, more loot. I feel like I might have just like gotten really lucky pathing through here because almost all the snake guys I end up fighting, I'm <clears throat> behind where they're facing, so I'm not approaching from where they think I'm going to approach from. Makes it a little bit easier with enemies that take forever to turn around. Another madman's knowledge. Starting to find those pr frequently, it feels like. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a big snake thing. All right. Oh, I'm going to maybe go over here. Collect this loot. And then try to find a way back. Whoa, hello. That one was in like a tree above me. I'm glad it didn't land on me. Were you guys like that? I'm guessing that's some kind of like poison or toxic. Seems to get blocked by these weird mushroom type things. Oh, it can move. Ah, that's not good. I didn't think it could move. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really make sense why it wouldn't, but I didn't think it could because it was just spitting at me. Okay. Oh. Something is damaging it. Oh, is it on the fire? Excellent. Cheesing it. Unintentionally cheesing it. That was easy. Watching my back just in case. Boom. All right, well, that was super duper easy. Thanks to the super duper cheese. I really lucked out in this area, that's for sure. There, oh. Oh, I walked into the fire myself, made myself jump. I'm above me in the air. Like I hear hear wriggling. I like the sound of it. It's like a pit right there. Glad I didn't go in there. Is there like another giant one down here or something? What the heck? Oh there is another giant one down there, okay. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. I was like trying to figure out where the safe spot was again. Alright, oh man. Oh jeez. This is like a, a horror area, legitimately. This place freaks me right out. And the range on the R1 is not amazing for dangerous moments. You just gotta get in a little bit smarter though. Oh shoot, I thought he was dead. Oh, and then I died. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have gone for the R2. <laughs> that was not the safe move. And I uh, 
I got hit at the same time I hit him. What a terrible place to die. Oh well. Now, it doesn't feel like it was too far away from where I was, so... I must have just run down there and... Probably skip a lot of the enemies that I killed the first time, like the snakes that move it really slow. I don't know if those big ones will respawn. I imagine they will. I mean, I'll probably have to learn how to fight them eventually anyways. So it would be good to know how to deal with them. It's probably just like circle around them and beat them up. And now that I know I won't have to so much run away to get into this elevator, I can confidently send it back up. And there we go. Oh, it moves pretty quick. Zoom down here. Let's see if we can avoid any of those snake jerks back there. Come down here and make our way through these snakes. Probably still worth like one-shotting a lot of these ones that are just like in the way. Um, because they do have a chance to drop the shards. They're very easy. And just skip the ones off to like the right and the left that won't won't do anything for me. Seems like I can kind of halt his transformation if I keep hitting him. That was handy. Oh, we got a tempering blood gemstone for that too. Right on. Okay, nothing over there. So let's just march forward and hope I don't get ambushed by something like this thing. Try and get my echoes back. I think I had about like 10,000, so. Not a lot, but enough for me to be like, I'd like to have those. And of course, it appears that snake enemy over there has them. Fine, I should be able to get them from that thing. Another big snake over there, too. Hmm, quite a few of these big snakes. Wander over here, please. Well, I entered back on. Come on. No, 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 no. Ah. Does appear to be some kind of poison. Why did that snake give up the chase? Nice. Run over here, perhaps. There we go. Easy. This thing does appear to be terrifying. What happens if I go in melee range? A couple of chomping heads. That one seems to be very venomous. I'd like to get behind them, but they have that fire right beside them. Oh, I can't, uh... Back through that, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Quite squishy. There we go. Okay, so they're not super duper defensible, but Murky Blood Gemstone 3. That seems pretty nice. Um, yeah, I was expecting them to be a lot more tanky. They are not too bad. Oh shoot, okay, we got... We got a couple guys here. Yeah, that was a nice free shot. Go for a second one, gamble. Yeah, alright. One taken out easy. Watch out for the second one. Seems like they actually get some health back or something. Oh shoot. Alright, be careful. 
And that second attack doesn't seem to have the same range as the uh, first one. It's like more close to the chest swing. Setting up for that third big overhand. But good for comboing. Not so good for like space brawling, it seems. Keeping a certain distance. Yeah, you seem freaky. I agree. That hurt. Go, another one down. Tempering blood gemstones. Man, there are so many freaky snake sounds all around me. Bloodstone chunk. I am happy to see that. That's probably for one of the higher level upgrades, I would think. Like, there's two snakes down there. Are those two big ones? Oh my gosh, it is. They must be guarding something very nice. Or maybe just a trap. Feels like I want to do a falling attack on them. I also, yeah, you know what? Should we just go for it? I have a lot of echoes, and if I screw this up, then I might not get them back. So, you know what? I'm, I'm chickening out. I'm going to explore a different direction. Like this snake up here. Okay, it seems willing to come out and fight me. Which is exactly want what you want from this giant snake enemy. Oh, that was a really good hit. Boom. Doing like normal R2s also seems pretty good. Powered up ones are where it really pays off though. See a lot of these like giant stones with like inscriptions on them. They're all faded and old. Stuff about cold blood. Oh, their item, nice. Here, deep sea. That do. Increases slow poison resistance. Hold on. I'm wondering if those are things I'll be able to equip eventually. Is it? Oh, that there's like slots in the top right there of my. Like above my name. But I don't have a way to use these, so. Those are Carol runes. You know anything about those yet. Hoping I'll meet an NPC that may uh, enlighten me on that. But we'll see what happens. Half expecting one of those snakes to fall on my head again. But when it happens, it happens. Learning as we're going. What is over there? I use my binoculars here. Oops, wrong. Wrong uh, button. Binocular. Okay, it just looks like it's kind of glowing. Here are more snakes. Yeah. Seems fine. Let's continue on. Am I going backwards at this point? Let's see. We were up here. Did we come? Yeah, we came from... We must have come from down here then, right? I'm all turned around. Winding woods. Oh yeah, okay. So there's the snakes. Yep, so we came down there. We went up here. So I haven't been this direction. This is where we found the item. Snake. There's a dude over there. As well as a snake. And another one of those giant things I've been talking about. Worth going over here? Maybe? Maybe, maybe there's an item. Yeah, there is an item. Alright. Taken down. Another gemstone. Oh! Give that one a couple stabs. More bloodstone shards. Happy as hell to see those. So we can continue to upgrade all of our cool weapons. Any future weapons. 
All right. Well, considering there's snakes everywhere, I'm kind of curious what the what the like boss of this area is gonna be like. Is it gonna be a huge serpent? I have to like attack different parts of it or something like that. Or is it just gonna be like fighting a giant series of snakes? Man, I really want to make that jump, but 25,000 souls in the bank. I don't really feel comfortable doing that. There's an item back there, so that's what these guys must be guarding. I gotta keep an eye out though, because there's a good chance those ones could come out from their little hiding area there. Oh, and there is one here as well. I didn't think that was gonna hit. Went for it anyways. Oh, that one didn't hit either. Alright, let's go for this one instead. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thankfully their range doesn't seem to be like massively larger than this sword. That's pretty great. It's moving all weird. I'm still not too great at spacing this thing. There we go. I think I'm slowly figuring it out though. Another murky blood gemstone. The item we were chasing? Ooh. Frenzy Cold Blood 8. What could be down here? Looks like perhaps a shortcut to another area. There's an enemy down. That item. I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's see what's up here first. Just feels like there's so many different directions to take here. Another item right here above me? No. Frenzy cold blood. This way. Another one of those snake things. A dude dragging his axe. Hmm. Well, I think we're gonna have to go the way of the snake dude over here. Oh, oh yeah. Can I lure these things out like one at a time, maybe? If I could do that, I could fight them. Oh, I got this one to kind of come out. There we go. Okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Come a little further, my man. As long as I get some damage in on him. I don't get hit by the spit from the other one. That's all we need. Ah, see? I hit by some spit. That's okay, though. Just be careful what I'm backing into as well. Is that dude with the axe is like right behind me or something. Okay, that's one of them. into this kind of mode. Thank you. There we go. Two of those and he's down. He drops uh, some loot himself. Deep sea. Alright, we got another one of these Carol runes. What's this one do? Increases frenzy resistance. Wow, 200 frenzy resistance. Hmm. Alright, well find out more about those as we go forward, like I say. Because we found quite a few of them, but still have no idea what they do. Or how they work, I suppose, is I should say. Is that one of those boar things up there? Is what it sounds and looks like. Thing hanging out around behind it. Yep, that's one of those big angry boars. Seems to be maybe a little bit different than the last one based on the cursory glance I had of it there. Ah, he had a friend over here. Pinky snakes. Let 
this guy just like summon more snakes? That's what it looked like to me. They hear like a loud screech and it looked like a whole bunch more snakes came out. Keep my distance on this guy here. Oops. That's what happens when I don't keep my distance. There we go. Went for that one because he wasn't giving me much room to work with there. I don't. I don't know what that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're behind me. Oh well, that. That was part of the problem. I didn't know they were behind me. That's terrifying. They kind of ambush you or something like that. I don't really know how they... Like, I don't know if it's set up. Maybe they fell out of the tree or the cliff behind me. Or they crawled out of the ground. But either way, when I turned around, that was... Oof, that was a little scary. So I'm kind of reaching the point where I want to run through a good chunk of this area because I've fought most of the mobs and seen most of what there's to see, it feels like. I don't really want to fight through everything I've fought through already. But let's see how much we can just take a blast through. See how much time we can save. What we can find. All right, so we're just gonna run by these guys. Oh, how did I miss these shining coins every time? Interesting. All right, run by these guys. Let's actually take this guy out, so we know we can combo him out, kind of like free stuff. There we go. There. Ooh, a tempering three. Nice. That feels very worth it. Okay, so we're just running down the path here. And where the big snake comes out. Can I run by him before he starts getting like in the way? I can. Alright. Cool. Oh, now we're down here. I went here last time. Oh, and here's the guy who took my... Okay, yep, he's... Yeah, he summoned a bunch of snakes, that's for sure. And he seems like hyper aggressive, so I could get on the echoes. There we go. Give me my echoes back. And some blood vials, thank you. I feel like I'm gonna have to take out that boar as well. Another murky blood gemstone. I'm wondering if I can break those down, sell them, destroy them, some way to like get rid of all the extras. Seems like I have quite a few at this point. Quite a few that I don't use and probably won't ever use. Okay, last time there was another snake collar it felt like. Oh, it must be that one over there. I wonder if I, like, aggroed him by, by pulling the, like, still having the other ones alive. Some of them around them, so I don't really know how they got behind me. Maybe they can summon, like, another set nearby if they're, if they're close to you or something. Look for the Went for the kill there. That pig seems to be doing like lots of stomping. Nice, got both of them. No, I think we should go try and take the boar out. Yeah, like that's just the right call. Anything around him? Just him? 
things to be him. Alright, can we sneak up for a big stab in the butt? Wow, we staggered him twice through that. Nice. Well, that was very easy. He didn't like that one bit. I wouldn't either, but <laughs> he especially didn't like it. Okay. Go down here. We have another big, big snake right here. What are you guarding? You guys are always guarding something. Ooh, that was a big sweeping attack. I haven't seen that one yet. Might not hit. Oh, it did. Nice. Another murky three. Happy to see those. Like an invisible wall here or something? No? Oh, you're just a jerk. Oh, well. Maybe he had that gemstone. Maybe that was like his drop. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. Give him the benefit of the doubt, you know? Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. I see both you snakes. I trust either of you. Frenzy cold blood. And bloodstone shards. I feel like we're making out like a bandit over here. Tons of loot. There was still a spot over here. Yeah, more snakes. And there's enemies that makes me extra suspicious. So why are you guys over here? What could possibly be here? Sometimes it's a trap. Appears to be some kind of shortcut. There's an item down there. But again, I don't like taking shortcuts that that um send me down. I like to take pathways that I can go backwards from. Because once you jump down there, you can't come back up. But this way, I can always double back if I need to. I kind of always remember where I've gone and feel like I don't miss anything. Something big is down here. Oh, it's from another one of these piggy things. Alright. Oh, is there an item right here? Nice. Okay, well, let's continue along this ridge. Okay, this leads down to where I could fight the piggy. Nice big open area. It's over here. I remember that I came down the ridge towards whatever's here. Looks like some kind of item, possibly. Seems way too quiet, though, like... Enemies... Lantern on. Here's some kind of weird noise. What the hell is this thing? What's that? Charge it. Kind of weird, like mushroom creature. That's freaky. Okay, well, I'm kind of glad I didn't know. There's more of them. All right, these things are freaky. Like mushroom zombies. Are these the kin? Oh my god, these are the same things, but these ones shoot magic. Okay. Kind of terrifying magic. Wow, these guys are actually scary as hell. Do I want to come this way? Like, what the hell are these things? Alright, yeah, come over here. I can fight you. I don't know what you do, but so far you haven't had to have the pleasure of letting me find out. Oh my god, don't kill me. <laughs> Jeez. 
Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Another one of these things. What's this one do? Raises stamina. Okay. Oh my gosh. What weird enemies. Never mind. Maybe it's not a giant snake. Maybe it's a weird mushroom creature. Like, are these just mushroom people that haven't grown, like, magic abilities yet? They're, like, immature mushroom people? Another madman's knowledge. Nope, just seems to be, like, a bunch of weird mushroom people over here and then a dead end. Is that right? Oh, another item. Another madman's knowledge. It seems like there's like a ridge I could come down from and then jump down here, and this would be like an exit. Huh. Maybe I just approach this from the opposite direction of when where somebody might normally approach it from? I really don't know now. Well, the good news is we can go, go back and fight the boar. If the boar uh, wanders back this way. Oops, doesn't come back. It's over here. Lantern thing. Hmm. Hear more snakes. Oh, snake dude. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, snake stuff. Oh, you actually used your axe. I got some HP back. Got more blood vials as well. Never unhappy about that. Oh, is this another elevator? Really? Oh. Where's this one go? Is there like another shortcut location that I don't know about? Or is this like a different area entirely? Oh. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. Well, this is a great shortcut. This... Well, damn. I kind of want to go back and spend my echoes then. If I'm... If I'm right here. This is where that guy should be dragging his axe down. Yeah. Okay, this uh, one-hander does not stagger him at all. Okay, so this takes me up to here. Oh, you know what? I kind of forget how to get from up here to where we started. <laughs> well, let's go find out. Where's the... Is there a lantern close to here? Like, am I crazy? Is that a ladder in here? There is, like, a ladder right here, but it doesn't really go up. It's, like, on the wrong side or something. Hmm. Oh, well. Got an item, at least. Alright, so that's the cannon guy. So, yeah, that's not... Not where we want to be. I think there is a lantern on the other side of that, but... Because, yeah, we end up in a totally different spot when... I take the other path. Have we, got, we haven't gone down here yet, have we? Because I do have, um, let's get my bold hunter's marks ready. And let's just check out what could be down here. Oh, one of these guys. Oh, he's got big range on that. We got big range on that though too. What's up? What file? Got a ladder here. I don't remember there being like a way out on the other side. Let's lead up to something different. I 
Where am I? I'm at like the very top of this place. It was very scary. Poison knives, which I don't need. Or like haven't used it all yet. Hmm. Man, it feels like there is just all different kinds of directions to take here. Oh, I'm above the guy with the cannon now. Oh. Who is this? There is like three dead people and he's eating a what appears to be a child. Whoa! Blimey, don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars. You're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling. Froze me in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Uh, I just stumbled upon this guy, like, eating what appears to be fresh corpses of people. Well, maybe not fresh. They do look a little rotten, which is even more disturbing. But there's blood everywhere, which... And he's covered in it. I really don't know if I want to send this guy to the same place as all those other people if this is what might happen. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, dude. Not. I should have known. This whole place is falling apart once again. It's the curse of Yarnum. Yeah. Um. Oh, who like? Oh, you find any? No oh yeah, of course. This whole it's the. No, I, I'm not gonna tell him. Sorry, dude. You really freak me out. I don't know. I don't want you and that other dude that kind of creeps me out teaming up. Like really creeping me out. So, enjoy whatever you were doing. Because I don't seem to be able to... Can I attack him? Should I try to attack him? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just... Yeah, we're gonna just walk away. I think that's best. I don't know what he's going through. I'm not here to try to figure that out. I'm here to kill monsters. That's my job. And he might actually be a monster, but that's not for me to decide right now. It appears that I can jump down in a few of these places. There's like an item right below this one, it looks like. Is that what I want to do? I don't know. I do have my bold hunter's marks ready to go. Ooh, a cannon. Cannon, you say? Oh, I need 30 strength? Ooh. Large prototype firearms. Equivalent to toting a mounted cannon complete with its ridiculous weight, staggering kick, and lavish use of quicksilver bullets. Such a monstrosity was doomed from the start. <laughs> Against impossibly giant foes, it might be just the thing. All right, well, we'll hang on to that. That's a cool find. And uh, we'll see if we end up ever having the stats to use it. Maybe now that I have all these echoes, but I want to run around and see if there's any good places to jump down. That uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, where's this spot? There we go. Oh, right, well, that seemed to be like the normal spot to go. Okay, well, still not 100% certain how that elevator is a shortcut. I guess it does allow me to travel between two places pretty quickly. Let's go down here again because I didn't check the other side here. Oh yeah, that's just a lot of nothing. A lot of bad news over there. There's nothing, there's nothing beyond like this path or nothing. Let's see. Over here. Gary to stand on this edge. No, it doesn't appear to be the case. Alright, well. Interesting. So we don't want to go back up. Well, I guess that's the only way up, so. Hmm. 
I guess it does allow you to skip a good chunk of the snake stuff. Let's try. Keep my hundred marks ready and I'm gonna go back down and see if we can just do a little bit more adventuring. I would like to have some kind of like additional lantern or something like that. Okay, so we wanna fall over there. Let's go right here. And we're gonna go somehow onto that landing. Right here, I suppose. Be good. Oop. Okay. And we can go down here where the snake guy used to be patrolling. You know what, let's take them out. There we go, thank you for the blood vials. And the 2,000 or so echoes. Yeah, so we can take this elevator. That brings us down to this, like, swampy area. This is where we can find that boar. Well as another place that led nowhere. Is that boar ever gonna come back or is it just like wander off that way and sit somewhere down the line there? You can see it from up here. See it anywhere there. Where I came from, I believe. Okay, well, let's, uh, suppose let's jump down here. Boop. See if that boar doesn't come. Oh, yeah, I hear him now. He might be digging something up, actually, over there. He might not be stomping over in this direction. Oh, no, he's coming. Just kind of wandering around over there. Appears to be. Oh, is he going to charge me? Come on. Oh, yeah, here we go. Can we do it? Oh, where's the butt? There we go. I'm staggered. A couple blood vials. Seems like kind of a basic enemy now. Okay, let's, uh... Here's some creepy groaning coming from in here. What the hell is that? Is that a snake dude? Something worse. Hello? Oh, one of these things? Oh, a few of these things. Man. Man, I hate you things. Can I get you through that? Haha, <laughs> punk. I thought, oh, I thought it was like rising up out of the water to get me. That's freaking me right out. These things make the strangest noises, I swear. And they don't die in one hit. Oh, and they puke everywhere. Disgusting creatures. And they make weird noises when they die. Man. There's a bunch of them. That seems to do them in nicely. Still suck though. Dissipating lake. Okay, we are getting lots of these things. Increases bolt defense. Okay, we are getting like all kinds of these augmentative uh, carol runes. I still don't know how to equip them. Anything like that. Oh, I guess you can skip uh, Piggy Boy. 
be run through here, but it has all those creepy dudes, so kind of like at your own peril kind of thing. Hey, you know what? You know what? Screw you, dude. I don't like you or your friends. Yep, you can go down. You can go down. Just don't want to hear your stuff anymore. I will even take on bonus piggy. Come on. Roar at me. Be like, squeal. Not so bad. Just mashing that R1. Mash, mash, mash. Sharp gemstone three, that might actually be pretty good. Okay, well, made it through all that. Suppose I can go back and check the upper ridge over here. I know I missed like quite a few turns and quite a few oh there's no upper ridge, okay. Where is there? Yeah there is. Um I know I've missed quite, missed quite a few areas, probably, so far. Um, but I'm trying to keep them all straight in my head, and it's really not working. <laughs> Whenever I enter, enter these kind of, like, forbidden woods areas, it always tends, to tends, always tends to throw me around. can't even use my words right now. Got my brain all scrambled. Okay, we have a left and a right. Left being down, right being up. Get a quick look down what kind of stuff might be here. Hmm. That looks like a boss area. That's feeling really a boss area. Lots of skeletons. Yeah, we're gonna go the other direction. Maybe there is a path to a lantern, perhaps, up here. I could really use a lantern. Oh, we got gate. I remember seeing this gate. Ah, okay. Oh, right, we gotta be all up on this guy. There we go. Okay, this will no doubt have a oh, clockwise metamorphosis. So that's like the reverse of the other one. That probably um, increases frenzy speed. Hmm. What frenzy actually does. There actually no shortcut here. Oh, we can fall down from up there. That's what it is. Okay, so we kind of have like a quick run back path because it's a boss fight. All right. Well, in that case, we are definitely going to reawaken, and we are going to spend our echoes. And then after that, we'll call it an episode, and we will have to see what kind of boss we're going to be up against in the next one, because that is most definitely a boss. Of Judging by all like the skeletons and skulls I think I saw on the rocks and stuff in the open area, might be some kind of like graveyard boss, or maybe like some kind of summoner, or some kind of giant skull monster. Um, let's go back to the dream, and let's see what kind of stuff we're going to get. I'm thinking, um, possibly life, possibly, um, strength so we can move towards trying to try out the cannon. Let's also see if these guys have any new things instead of curiosity. Oh, they sell the cannon now too. Interesting. Armors. Nope. Nothing too amazing that I haven't seen already. Okay, let's find our good friend who's having a nap. Very well, let me kind of level ups do we want? Cost us 7,000 each so we can get like 6 each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, we can get 7 level ups. That's pretty solid. Uh, let's see, that could bump up our damage pretty good. Actually, hold on, you know what? Let's check. Farewell, good hunter. Um, cannon. How much stats do we need for a cannon? We need 30 and 13. Okay, so we'll get the 13 first, because we just need one of those. I think it was skill, right? Pretty sure, yeah. 
And I think that's pretty good. I don't think I really need the other stats too badly. And that'll give us a decent amount of damage on our, our Ludwig sword here too. Just to reaffirm for myself that I don't need the skill. Okay, yeah, it was skill. Okay. Just need like seven more strength now. It's not too bad. We could probably even pop our echoes we do have and get close to it. Uh, fortify. Yeah, we're liking this weapon, so. We'll bump that up. We got lots of those now. We need three chunks. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll leave that alone. Um, don't have to repair anything, which is nice. This thing still only has two slots, it looks like. Let's see. We can take out. Oh no, we have the imprint area, so this would give it fire attack. And HP continues to recover. Yeah, we're gonna, definitely going to do that. Why not? Oh, it removes all the um, physical attack component, though, and changes it into fire damage. Well, that's interesting. Should we try that out? Let's try that out. I know we have a boss fight. Maybe, maybe it's terrible, but I don't know. It seems like fire would be good against anything else in this area. Didn't I have, like, a... Yeah, I have a fire stone, too, so I probably want to use that. Because that would boost the damage significantly. Murky... Murky seems to have like a lot of stuff. Poison effect mostly. Um, let's see, sharp skill sta skill scaling goes up, um, which would be nice, but it doesn't look like it actually would affect the damage because it's fire right now. This would actually give it physical damage on top of uh, fire damage. That's interesting. Tempering would give add poison effect. Is this just like, oh, is it just show me all of them and this is like what it would add? Oh, okay. Okay, so right now we have the fire one to boost that. So this would change it to that stuff. Like that one would actually bust or boost its damage up. Really interesting the way this all works. So you can like really modify a weapon. I um, don't really think I care much about the poison. So I'm thinking about just adding the physical attack plus plus that. Cool. All right. Well, now it deals fire damage, so we'll have to try that out. Just have to find out, I guess. It doesn't seem to have any new like cosmetic effect, but I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, we got like a new buff on too. I guess that's because it gives like ups when I have full. Oh no, HP continues to recover. Okay, so that's what it has now. Okay, interesting. Interesting, very interesting. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one when we go find out what we might be facing off against. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.